I'm Derek Cuff, and today we're gonna be watching and reviewing the internet's best dances. So the first video we're gonna watch is the biggest dance video on YouTube with over 303 million views. All right. Oh, that leg swivel, come on, twist it. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that's like the bad uncle dance right there. He's drunk at a, oh, and then he pulls that out. So one thing I'll give this guy is that he is committed. He kept it really simple, really recognizable, changed it up quickly, didn't like live in a dance for too long. I think that's why it was so successful. People related to it so much. They're like, oh, I know that dance. Oh, I remember that dance. And there's a sense of nostalgia. This actually is exactly the type of dancing I do in public at a party or at an event. People think like, oh, you must dance full out and like do a whole routine. I'm like, no, I do this. High five. Awesome. So this next video is choreographed by my friend Kyle Hanagami. This has 148 million views, and I'm actually looking forward to watching this. He's a great choreographer. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice flexibility, nice movement of the body. Great isolations, great pictures. Nice texture too. So texture is when you hit something, boom, but there's, there's movement in between it. That's what gives that, that sort of, uh, that dynamic when you're watching a routine that is enjoyable. It's not all just about like hit, 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 hit. It's like a hit, rebound, and moving, boom, 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 pa. You know what I mean? That's what makes it really interesting. And Kyle Hanagami is my boy, amazing choreographer. And what's cool about this is that he didn't start dancing or choreographing until he was 19 years old. And people are like, oh, I, I need to start when I'm three years old to start dancing. Absolutely not. That's Absurd, it's nonsense. You can start anytime, and he is absolute proof. Good on you, Kyle. The next video we're watching has 168 million views on YouTube, and is, of course, Gangnam Style. All right, I mean, they're wearing really short shorts. <laughs> yeah, very colorful, primary colors, very important when you're doing the game Style. I have done this dance before, I have. Um, I cannot hide from that. I think I know why this is getting 168 million views. I think, I mean, they're, you know, young ladies, they're wearing short shorts. It's amazing when something becomes a craze, when something becomes like a fad. You always wonder like, like what, why and what is it about it that people are drawn to? I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> All right, so next up we have the Alvin and the Chipmunks salsa sequence, which has over 132 million views on YouTube. What's happening? Why are there little munchkins on there? Okay, now I'm starting to get into this popcorn a little bit. Okay. I mean, I feel like the chipmunks are winning this battle right now. It's so smooth, it's just, just effortless. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a salsa. That was, there wasn't really much salsa in that routine. Salsa is a Latin dance, um, and the rhythm is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. My favorite thing about salsa is all the different arm things where they're looping in and out and they're turning around each other. But I have to say, when I dance salsa, I do I kind of fuse like traditional, like international style Latin dancing. And the second you just start shaking your body, you just go one of these. They're like, oh my, yes, yes, that, yes. When in doubt, shake it out. Next up we have one of the biggest Whip and Nene videos on YouTube with over 208 million views. First of all, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Holy, I mean, what, <laughs> not that face. Woo, she's feeling it. Oh my gosh, not the subs in the back of the pink car. Okay, yo, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So much attitude, so just like in the movement. Ooh, that was good. I can't do the whip and nay nay. I think I was asked to do the whip and nay nay, and then I immediately regretted it because I looked ridiculous doing it. But that's that's awesome. I love that video. That's, that's adorable, man. That's adorable. All right. So the next video we're gonna watch is a very popular ballet video because it's more contemporary. It's a little more rugged. It has over 23 million views, which is incredible. And it's the song "Take Me to Church." Let's check it out. I feel like if I was a ballet dancer, this is the type of ballet dancer I'd want to be. Just, just raw. Those feet, first of all, look at those feet. Unbelievable. What I call dancers 
is artistic athletes. I mean, they jump higher than basketball players, you know what I mean? They're, they're spinning, they have this incredible agility, this flexibility unlike anything else. Just so athletic, so strong. I mean, he floats. He just defies gravity, it feels like, in some of those movements. I feel a lot with this one. I, I, I relate a lot to this piece. When I was younger, I competed. I traveled all around the world, become world champion, all these things. I got a little burnt out. So seeing this routine where you love what you do, but you're also kind of tormented by it, it's powerful, it's powerful. This is stunning. I mean, just so masculine, so strong, and just so raw, so real. Beautiful, so good. Next up, we have the largest Harlem Shake video on YouTube with 123 million views. I'm going solo by myself. Uh, uh, now, when is everybody else gonna join? There they, okay. What? <laughs> First of all, this is just mayhem. This is just absolute chaos. Let's see what each person's doing there. Well, this person clearly is doing some sort of worm exploration, turning into a butterfly, he's cocooning. This is some terrifying experiment gone wrong with these two head, I don't know what's going on there. This man has trees for arms. I don't know what those are. That's actually one of my favorite moves. That's one of my go-to moves right there. Impressive, I love it. Dancing is all about just letting loose and being free, right? So. I feel like that these sort of things that happen where people are just doing being crazy and nuts is giving yourself permission just to have fun and be free, be crazy, be stupid. So next up we have the largest ballroom video on YouTube. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I don't know what dance this is. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. No, it's like a swing of a sort? West Coast maybe? I honestly don't know what dance that is. Traditionally, I would say ballroom, waltz, tango, foxtrot, Quick step, a Vini's waltz. I, I, this looks more like a West Coast swing type thing. Um, so if that's what they're doing, I guess it's interesting. Just need a little spot a little bit more there. Yeah, she's a little stiff. There's a bit of a disconnect between the music and the dancing, I have to say. But I will give her a tip. A lot of times what happens when people turn, they go, they go, oh, I'm turning. They get their arm up here and they turn. You only have to go as high as your head, right? That's, that's where you're going underneath, it, essentially. So there's no need for it to be up high. What that does is it slows down your turn. You're more disconnected. You're less off balance. Literally just rest your hand on top of your head, connected to your partner. So the next video we're going to watch is a video I actually directed, and I'm also in, for Michael Buble. It has 19 million views. Oh, man. Well, this dancing isn't really, like, Dancing. This is this is sort of what would you say pedestrian dancing. It's like dancing I do like when we're in the kitchen or something like that. You're hanging out. You know what was cool about this video actually was when they asked me to direct it. My grandpa had just passed away, and we were talking about how they used to dance every morning. My grandma and grandpa together. They used to put a song on. They used to dance every single morning. And as this video progresses, they get older and they're, they're sort of swaying and dancing together. So that's what this is sort of about, this sort of eternal, you know, just like long-lasting love. I mean, we, when we say choreographed it, I was just like, hey, come here, let's do this. <laughs> you know, in the moment, we didn't like plan anything. Dancing, it's primal. It's in our DNA. We were meant to move. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for reviewing the internet's biggest dance videos. I'll see you next time. But right now, I'm gonna go have some more popcorn. <laughs>